Hello coders, today we are embarking on an exciting journey to master an art of creating Angular libraries. If you want your Angular components, services and directives to be reusable and maintainable, this is the tutorial for you. Get ready to boost your Angular game and make your code base more modular and versatile. When it comes to developing large scale applications with Angular, creating reusable pieces of code is not just a productivity boost but also a best practice. Angular libraries are the perfect way to encapsulate code and make it easily shareable across different projects or with community. Next we will cover everything from inception to the publishing of an Angular library transforming you into an Angular library wizard. Before we roll up our sleeves, ensure you have got these essentials nailed down. First one is node.js that should be your LTS version and then you should have the Angular CLI with the latest version. You can check these by running the command node-v and then you will check ng version okay if you need to install or update them this is how you will do it npm install minus g angular slash cli press enter and it will install or update it for you all right once you have got the tools let's get to the real action first off let's create our dedicated workspace for our libraries so for that just run the command ng new my workspace if you don't need the default application you can just disable it by using this flag this will not generate the app folder for you but as i need it because i want to test it as well uh, while we are building it so i will not disable it after the project is created let's go into that folder that for that project cd my workspace and let's open it in our VS code. Now open the terminal in the root directory of your project. And with this setup, it's time to generate our very own library. For that, type the command ng generate library my uh, my library. Okay, press enter. Okay, with that, if you look at this, you, you will see the projects folder that will have the my library that we just created. Now let's take a quick tour of the key files in this library. So in the source directory, we have the public dash API. This is the entry point for the entities you want to expose. Right now, these are the default files, our services and components and modules that are being exported. And after that, we have ng-package.json. This will define how the library is built. And after that, we have the lib folder. This is where our library's code lives. Our library needs something tangible. So let's create a component that the world can use. So for that, let's run this command ng generate component my button and give it the project name is equal to my library. Press enter. It will generate component within that library. As you can see, the component has been generated. In this video, I will just keep it simple. I will just add some quick HTML and make styles to make it look good. I will just add a simple button. Hello world. We don't have the SCSS in this case. So I will just type here in the CSS file. That's fine. All right. To make our my button component accessible, we need to ensure that it is exported in the public dash API. So go there and let's export it. All right. Another thing that you have to make sure is that go to the my library dot module and here you have to export the component that is declared already here. OK, by exporting it, uh, this helps other applications import the component directory from our library. All set. Great. Compile the library to the dist slash my library by running this command ng build and configuration is equal to production here configuration production ensures optimization and aot compilation reading our library for consumer application now let's test this application in our app i'm going to clear it and run the command ng serve will run it all right, the application is running. Now go to the source directory, open the app folder and in the app module, let's import the module that we have for the my library module. Make sure to import it like this. Go to the app.component. Let me remove everything else. And here I will add the button. Live my button is available in the suggestion. Save it. Now you can see that this button is coming from the library that we just created. Now let's make some change in that 
library let's go back to the source library and in the my button html i will add something else okay but look it did not reflect in the real time the reason is that we have to build it again but we want to build it again and again while we are testing it so to make it easy i will just run the command ng build my configuration production and watch so watch flag will uh, watch it and it will keep building it every time whenever you will make a change so maybe we should stop it and start again all right now let's make some another change save it and you can see that this time it is showing the changes in the real time without any problem use semantic versioning to tag your library versions properly it keeps your library's evolution transparent and predictable ready for the spotlight publish your library to npm so let's go to the library in the dist folder run the command npm publish access public you will get some errors because right now we are not logged in okay so we have to create an account and we have to add that user to authorize so let's run this command so this will open something in the browser so in the browser you can create a sign in with your existing account if you don't have an existing existing account you can just click on the create account okay we have created an account and authenticated successfully now you can go to the home page and let's look at the vs code terminal you will see that it is saying that logged in successfully now we can try again to publish our package so we are unable to publish it because of this error maybe this library is already there with this name so we have to make it uh, unique in order to make it unique we have to change its name so this is the package.json file here i will make it unique let's add something random here now i will build it again i will build it without watch this time okay and now run the publish command again it is saying that package name triggers spam de detection so i think that's why it is not working so let's add some real name okay this time it worked so with this unique name we were able to upload it now if you go to your account you go to the packages section and here you will see the list of all of the packages that you have published so far your library will grow and improve to publish updates you just come back to your project and run this command again that we did for the production and then again go to the folder where you uh, where that update was added so for example here i will build it again i want to deploy that update to the npm for that let me go to that folder again and let's run a command npm version patch press enter okay it has created new patch version for us now run the command npm publish okay the version 2 has been published now if you go back earlier the version was 0.0.1 if you reload it now this will show 0.0.2 and if you go to the versions it will show you the list of all of the versions that you have so far let's not forget why we are doing all this imagine packaging a complex data table with filtering and sorting that can be used in countless projects or maybe a set of authentication services ready to drop into any app all right folks a uh, library ready to rock the angular scene you are now equipped with the knowledge to modularize your code and amplify its reach and impact take this build on it and don't hesitate to share your creations remember to like share and subscribe for more top-notch angular content happy coding and see you in the next one